Hello once again, watchers of Good Movies. My name is Nick Pell, and joining me once again is my good friend James DeSantis. James, if you want to say your two cents really quick. I am that guy who is in every one of these videos, <laughs> and I am proud. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> if you don't know, uh, James has done a, a many, many of these videos, um, and I've done many on his channel as well. Uh, so you'll probably see him in many videos in the future, and I'll kind of talk about what he does towards the end of this video. But right now, we are going to be talking about our most anticipated films for September to December, basically for the rest of the 2016 year. Uh, we have, uh, let's see, eight months out of the way so far, and so let's get into the five movies that we are most looking forward to this year. I will say this very quickly before we start. We have left out on purpose uh, Rogue One, Doctor Strange, uh, uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Um, uh, what was the other one? Uh, I'm forgetting. The, the very popular movies that everybody has on their yeah, list. Really. Yeah, basically. Cool. Assassin's Creed, stuff like that. Um, basically, things that we're always looking forward to, but it would have filled up the top five of our movies that we're looking forward to very easily. And I want to talk about films which... Um, maybe not everyone is familiar with or is necessarily looking forward to or is even aware is coming out in the next couple months. So that's what these lists are designed to be. And so let's just dive into it. James, if you want to list your number five choice. Okay, so my number five is going to be, I, I spelled it wrong, I put Black Witch, but I meant Blair Witch. <laughs> uh, Blair Witch is my number five. Now, there's a couple of good horror movies looking, good looking horror movies coming out. Uh, I was interested in Oiji and Rings, but this is the one that I have a feeling will probably be the best of the three. I feel like it's going to be the biggest budget. It's also going to be the most well made, um, and it's already getting a uh, well um, good review. So I'm excited for this movie. I didn't love the original Blair Witch. I uh, you know respect the idea. I do like other movies that followed it with the uh, shaky cam, but this is definitely the movie where I think it's going to be. A nice horror movie for the closer to October months versus all the great horror movies that came out in the uh, summer. Yeah, I would definitely agree. That's one that I'm very much looking forward to. I enjoyed the first Blair Witch, so I'll be curious to see if this one can capture that same feel. I don't think it will because that one kind of started out the found footage film. A lot of people thought it was actual real footage. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. I am very much looking forward to that one, and we'll know if it's good or not in the next couple weeks. Uh, but... Um, my number five is going to be The Accountant. This stars Ben Affleck in the lead role. He plays this guy who has essentially the same mind as someone like Einstein or Beethoven, someone whose mind is just extremely intelligent and can kind of figure things out in an instant if he needs to. Um, it's also got Anna Kendrick, John Berthold, J.K. Simmons, um, this fantastic cast, and he essentially... Uh, uncooks books for the most dangerous people in the world and gets out alive. And it just seems like a very interesting movie. I don't really know what to expect in regards to the plot, um, just because the trailers haven't really shown a whole lot in that regard, which is fantastic. Um, but I'm very much looking forward to this film. I love all the members of the cast. And so, yeah, I'll be really curious to see uh, The Accountant come, let's see, what is the release date, uh, on October 14th. Yeah, it's basically the origins of Batman. But the uh, my next movie is a, a book I read this year. I have mixed feelings on it. I love some of it. I hate some of it. Um, but it's The Girl on the Train. And I think the reason I'm excited for this is because uh, it looks very stylistic, kind of like Gone Girl uh, or the, the leftovers of Gone Girl, as some people say. Um, and I'm okay with that because I fucking love Gone Girl. So if it's if it's anything like Gone Girl in terms of uh, style and look, and it feels like there's moments in that trailer that I don't remember at all from the books. So maybe they're going to change some stuff, maybe make the characters actually stronger instead of weak um, women. So that always pisses me off. But yeah, it looks uh, pretty interesting. And I think people who do not read the book or don't really know about it will be pretty shocked at the ending because it did have a, a decent shocking ending for the general audience. So um, I'm, I'm pretty excited for that movie. Yeah, I am as well, because like you said, it has that very Gone Girl feel, and so I'm sure that's what they're kind of going for with the tone. Uh, fantastic cast, as far as I can tell. For a, a little while, I thought that one of the actresses was Jennifer Lawrence, and I realized that it wasn't Jennifer Lawrence. I thought so, too. Yeah, the other day I was looking at it. Um, 
but yeah, that one's definitely one who's it's probably on my top ten most anticipated. Sorry, not on my top five though. Um, my number four is one that I've seen in trailers for a couple times and it just continues to just get to me for some reason. And that film is Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk. Um, this is a film about uh, this kid, Billy Lynn. He was um, in Iraq, uh, is brought home for a victory tour, and throughout the film, um, and as he's basically uh, going um, down the, the football field, um, we get to see flashbacks of what actually happened to his squad um, in the battle which he's being honored for uh, and kind of what the, the realities um, that America, or at least the media per se, uh, is kind of painting it as. And so um, it's just a very interesting film. The trailer has always gotten to me for some reason. Um, it has a very good cast. Um, you have Kristen Stewart, you have Vin Diesel, uh, Steve Martin, Chris Tucker. You have just... I don't know, it just it seems like a story which is probably going to um, leave me in tears by the end of it, um, just because for some reason these war films have started to do that. Um, but, yeah, this is a film which um, I saw a trailer for again, uh, actually yesterday, and, yeah, it just reminded me that this needs to be on my list of most anticipated. Um, my next one is uh, going to be uh, a monster... Is it Monster Calls? I always say this Yes, you're correct. Right. I'm like, okay, these are called The Monster Calls. Um, so A Monster Calls is based off a book that's written by Patrick Ness. Um, I read this about a year and a half ago. I uh, really enjoyed it. Um, and so I didn't even know the movie was coming out. And then when I heard it was, and so the trailer, I got even more hyped because it has a great cast. Um, and I, I think that what they're going for is a very um, like atmospheric tone to what the book was, which was pretty depressing at points, but uplifting, and I think that's what they're going to go for here. Um, and the trailer right away tells you that it's a figment of his imagination, but I, that's not the important part. The important part is what the story is trying to tell younger kids uh, what to do and believe in. So I, I'm excited for this movie. If it's even half as good as the book, it's going to be a damn good movie. Yeah, and actually I have a Monster Calls on my list for number three as well. Uh, shocker, shocker. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, this is one that just has intrigued me. I've only seen the trailer once so far, and I have not um, actually read the um, book before. But yeah, this film it has a fantastic cast, like you said. It's got Felicity Jones, um, who is going to be in the new Star Wars movie, um, which I'm very looking forward to. Uh, I love seeing her do more and more projects, just anticipation for that. Um, you have Toby Kebbell, you have Liam Neeson as this monster who I think is just going to knock this thing out of the park. Um... Yeah, it's just a very intriguing movie. I, again, I don't really know a whole lot about what exi what exactly it's going to do for a plot, um, but I'm very excited for this thing. And it's probably my, well, it's my number three most anticipated of the next four months, so that's saying something. Yeah, and uh, my next one would be um, a, a real-life uh, situation, uh, Snowden. Um, I didn't know too much when this whole thing happened, um, but I read up on it the last few months, and it's an interesting uh, take on, I think they're going to go more pro Snowden in this movie, but uh, I do enjoy learning of what everything was, and I was always surprised that Hollywood like lets these movies come out about the government, but anyway, I like people are so stupid, they don't believe it anyway, but Snowden uh, definitely looks interesting, I love... Um, uh, Gordon uh, Levitt, and uh, I, I'm really excited to see what this movie is going to bring to the table. I want it to be like almost a social network of hacking, basically. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited for this movie. It looks like great performances and a stylistic, awesome hacking world. <laughs> yeah, I remember when we did our um, summer movie preview uh, way back when, um, and this one was originally slated for a May 15th or something release. Uh, you had no idea who was still what it was. And <laughs> that just surprised hell of me. So I like the fact that this is now your number two most anticipated of the next four months. That's just, it's really cool. Um, but my number two is going to be La La Land. Um, this, oh, this looks good. Yeah, the, just from the first trailer, again, I'm, I'm a big music person, so um, the fact that it's got Ryan Gosling um, doing jazz piano-esque stuff uh, just got me instantly hooked into it. It's also got Emma Stone, who's just gorgeous and, and a fantastic actress. Uh, it just looks like a very, very good movie. Um, and I think this is probably going to be one which I just I just end up loving. And it's supposed to be a musical as well, which I'm also a big fan of. 
Um, and yeah, I don't know a whole lot in regards to the plot. Again, uh, a lot of these films, which I'm looking forward to, I don't know exactly what they're going to be about, but just the trailers themselves have sold me on them so much that I'm just really looking forward to these movies a ton. Um, and yeah, this one looks to be uh, kind of reminiscent of Moulin Rouge to an extent. Um, maybe that's why I'm so looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, La La Land, definitely my number two most anticipated of the next four months. Yeah, um, and my number one is uh, Manchester by the Sea. Um, I I recommend just watching the trailer. This movie's going to not be for everybody, but it looks like drama-filled, awesome acting type of movie. It's got, I keep forgetting his name, Ben Affleck's brother, but um, he's a great Casey actor. Affleck. Yeah, Casey Affleck. He does great drama roles, um, and he has this pretty good timing for comedy at times, but Great uh, drama roles. He was the best thing in um, Triple Nine, and uh, I am very excited to see him have his movie-centric role here, just like Gone, uh, Gone Baby, Gone Baby, Gone Baby Gone, whatever that movie is, Baby Gone, whatever the fuck. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just super excited to see him have his own role, uh, his own centric role again. And uh, drama-wise, I'm always a sucker for great drama, so I'm definitely going to check this one out. Yeah, that's also one which I am um, very much looking forward to. Is that a wide release or is that more of a limited release one? I think it's limited, but just like High or Hell Water, after it gets all the great reviews, which it's already getting, I'm sure they'll start releasing it quickly into wider and wider. Yeah, it seems like with a lot of those ones, which are potential Oscar contenders, they always start, out, start them off really, really uh, limited and then just gradually um, expand them further and further. Like I saw a lot of the... The Oscar nominees for Best Picture um, last year at like a really small theater, which gets a lot of those limited features. And then eventually, like a month later, it, it showed up at my AMC. Um, so it's just kind of an interesting way that happens. But uh, moving on to my number one most anticipated of the next four months, that is going to be Hacksaw Ridge. Um, this film stars Andrew Garfield, and I believe that takes place um, uh, during World War II. And he plays. Uh, a medic named um, Desmond Doss, and his uh, morality, or at least his religion, uh, prohibits him from committing violence or touching a gun. Um, and so that makes it kind of a difficult thing in a war um, and to kind of participate. And so it seems like the objective, or at least what the premise of this movie is going to be, is that he is going to be going into the Hellfire battle uh, without a weapon, but just basically going out and trying to save as many people as he can. The trailer just seems very, very good. It's got a fantastic cast as well. Again, Andrew Garfield, uh, Teresa Palmer, who was just most recently in Lights Out. Uh, we have uh, Luke Bracey. We have Sam Worthington, um, Vince Vaughn. Uh, just a really good cast. It seems like a very, very interesting true story, which I have a, a feeling, again, is going to probably end up leaving me teary-eyed at some point sure. during uh, its runtime. Um, but Hacksaw Ridge looks like a, easily like an Oscar contender or something like that you could get. Um, getting good reviews, too. A lot of these movies are getting early good words, so that's what makes me excited for all of them. Yeah, I could see Andrew Garfield getting like a um, Best Actor nominee for this. He should have got it for 99 Homes, in my opinion. Or at least a, a nomination, because his moment in that house was when he's screaming was just like intense shit for, like, an actor. Like, he, I thought he was really screaming at his mom. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, uh, the movie does look really good. The trailer definitely does a well job of uh, not making it too cheesy on the religion sense of it. Like, it actually feels like this guy believed in this and everything. Um, and then the, the war looks disturbing. Um, I think we're going to see that fully in the movie itself. Yeah, most definitely. I mean... Yeah, um, there's a reason why I'm very much looking forward to it. But, uh, guys, those are our uh, most anticipated films of the next four months, September to December. Uh, let us know your list in the comments down below. What are you most looking forward to? Did you agree with our list? Did you not agree? Let us know. Like, fair comment, and subscribe once again if you so choose. Make sure to also check out James DeSantis' channel in the description down below. He does fantastic game reviews as well as really good top 10 and top 5 videos, so make sure to check those out, um, one of which I will probably be on in the coming days here, just FYI. Um, and so, yeah, guys, as always, my name is Nick Pell, and once again, Keep on watching.